and welcome. Today I will be conducting an experiment with you on growing onions from onions, from smaller onions like these ones that we have here. I'm going to be doing three methods today. The first one being the traditional one, the one where they simply, it's the farmer's method, they just simply take their onions and they just put it into the soil. So as you can see here, I'm just going to plant the onion into the soil. These Remember, these are smaller onions. Once I plant them, they're all into the soil. That's method one. This is the traditional, most traditional method. So I'm just going to divide our tray here in half. I'm going to use a piece of tape here to show you so that you guys can make sure you follow along. Just a reminder, it is April 18th. So it's really important to remember I'm doing this on April 18th. The second and third method kind of coincide, but this essentially the idea is that you cut off the bottom part of the onion, the part that is the bottom and the shoots, the part that will grow out of these parts, as you can see here, and you put it into the soil face down like so. It's very simple, but it is a very controversial method and is seen on YouTube a lot. So I'm gonna test it out with you guys and we're gonna see exactly if it works and how fast it is, how effective it is. There's also a second version of this method and that's the one where you take and cut off this bottom part, but you put it into a glass full of water. And you have to make sure that the bottom part, the part where the shoots will grow out of, is touching the water. So it kind of receives its nutrition and its water from there. So now I'm just going to take water and I'm just going to water my onions here and we're going to keep you updated on the progress and the growth of these onions. So make sure you stay tuned, keep watching because we will be giving you regular updates. Once again, it is April 18th, so stay tuned, keep watching and we will be giving you updates on the growth of each of these onions. Hello and welcome back. I'm doing an update on the onions that I have planted. It is April 29th and we planted these on April 18th. And as you can see here, we already have a few onion sprouts. These are the ones of the sets, the, the ones that looked like the small whole onions. We also have the other side without the small whole onions, which were just the ones that were cut. So as you can see here, some of the onions did not sprout, but they do have very developed root systems. But what I am going to do is I am going to cut the top as the layers of the onion can be a bit too thick for the sprout to actually sprout through. So by cutting the top, we're kind of aiding the onion in its ability and its purpose and to be able to, be able to sprout. We also have the glasses here. I cut the onion and I put it into water. As you can see there, only some of them, actually only one of the three has managed to sprout some roots. See this one also did not have any healthy roots. Only this one has managed to have one white root, healthy looking root. And it also has a few very small sprouts, if you can see. So of course it was our hope for it to grow and to sprout, but I believe that the bacteria and the mold released a lot of ethylene, which in turn had prevented it from growing and from sprouting properly. So that's why these, this glass method wasn't really a very smart method and it didn't work. And then we have our final method. So a lot of other YouTube videos have recommended to just cut the onion and to put it into the soil completely. As you can see here, I'm going to take all of them out and I'm going to show you what happened. Some of them had died and rotten. Others just did not 
grow, did not develop a root system. Some of them are still rotting inside of the soil. So I'm going to take all of them out and wash them so that you can get a better idea of what happened in the soil for this 10 days that they were in here. As you can see here, some of them actually did develop a root system. And only two had developed any healthy looking root systems. The rest did not. And this just proves that if you want to effectively grow onions, you should use the traditional farmer's method like here. If you use this method, the one that I'm holding in my hands with you cut the onion and you put it into the soil, how long would it take for those ones with the developed root systems to actually begin sprouting? And especially with the ones in the cups, it would take much longer and it might not even happen, it might not even occur in a very effective way. So stick to the traditional method. Don't believe any of those shady websites and strange YouTube videos. You want to trust the ones that show you the results. So if you want to effectively grow onions for food and not just for fun, use the traditional farmer's method with seeds or the sets of onions. As you can see here, you waste about 80% of the onions if you use this cutting method. So you want to make sure that you effectively grow your onions for food. Thank you so much for watching. Leave your comments, questions, or any concerns below, and do not forget to subscribe.